there are many books out there saying they will transform your life. And I've read enough of them to tell you that this little book here is totally different than all these other books. First things first. This short little book is basically a summary of Jeremy Griffith's main work on the human condition, presented in Freedom, The End of the Human Condition. Jeremy Griffith is a biologist, and the main premise of Transform Your Life and Save the World is that the world is in crisis, and the only solution is to find a scientific understanding of the human condition. He argues that it's that insight that his book presents, and that every human can now be immediately transformed from living a psychologically troubled life to living a life free of it. And that this transformation not only saves an individual's life, it saves the whole world. So that's a big claim. But let's look at how Griffith supports his argument. Basically, he's saying that humans have used the excuse that we are competitive, aggressive and selfish because we supposedly have instincts that make us compete for food, shelter, territory and the mate, so we can reproduce our genes, just like other animals do. But really, we humans are a bit more complex than that. So he goes on to explain that humans have a conscience. And I don't think that many would argue that humans have inherently good values. I mean, Charles Darwin, of all people, said that the moral sense perhaps affords the best and highest distinction between man and the lower animals. And to have a moral code, it must have come from our distant ancestors. I mean, you can say we behave properly because we should, but we all intuitively know when we're being mean or lying or worse. So it does make sense that this sense within us to be cooperative and loving is true. We're not competitive and aggressive, just like other animals. Griffith then takes us on a massive thought journey to imagine that this premise that it's true that our very distant ancestors did live cooperatively and lovingly is in fact true. That as Darwin said, our moral sense distinguished us from other animals. He then goes on to quote many great philosophers, thinkers and writers throughout history, like Plato, Hesiod, Rousseau, Descartes, Shakespeare, Lawrence van der Post, Jung and others to provide evidence that we really do have a cooperative and loving past. But my favorite part is when Griffith introduces um, bonobos, um, the rare um, primate living south of the Congo River, and all these amazing comments of, of bonobo researchers and filmmakers about just how loving a species they really are. And, and how bonobos are actually our closest living relative. And I mean, that's astonishing and so beautiful, given the fact that I, I haven't, hadn't even heard of bonobos before, let alone Griffith's explanation for how we humans and bonobos have actually acquired our moral instincts. Probably given away too much already, because this book is only 70 pages. But since you can, you can read it for free on the Amazon Kindle or on humancondition.com, let me tell you just one, one last thing. The main difference between this book and any other book that claims to transform your life or something along these lines is that this one provides the real explanation for why we humans are so psychologically troubled as to even feel the need to become transformed. It explains how an unavoidable clash between our instincts and our intellect produced all our angers, alienations and egocentricities. And in the last part of the book, it provides the help as to how these understandings can free ourselves from all these behaviors and actually transform our lives and save the world. So thanks for watching and I really hope you, you liked it and found it useful and that you'll give Transform Your Life and Save the World a chance because I think it really deserves your time. And I also think you will be astonished, just as I was, that this little book actually does what its title says it does. Thank you.